Hey y'all, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. Um, Matt's giving me a look today. I don't really know why. Um, we are doing a really cool review today. It's from a brewery that is here in Columbia, South Carolina. They're called, um, <laughs> they're called Conquest Brewing. And, um, they're fairly new. They've only been around for like, what, like a year or two? Not sure. Mm, I didn't Not do the long. research. I'm sorry. Um, but, uh, you know, so far <laughs> we have had several of their beers and they're, they're pretty okay. But this one I saw at the store the other day and I had to grab it because it is, in fact, a coffee IPA. And I have not had a coffee IPA before. I have had coffee stouts, um, coffee porters. Saison. I even had a coffee saison once and it was fantastic by the way. Um, but I'm pretty excited because it's two of some of my favorite things, coffee and IPA, so it should be pretty awesome. And I am also excited because it's two of my favorite things, coffee because I'm tired and local breweries. Yeah, local breweries are awesome. Definitely support local breweries. Um, it's 7.3% alcohol, and um, it's actually Loveland Coffee. I didn't do any research on that either. I'm sorry. I just, I, I don't Spur really, of the moment. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a spur of the moment. I've been planning on doing this, but... For me, it was a spur of the moment. <laughs> I've been, like, sick for, like, a month. <coughs> <coughs> I can't not be sick. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's terrible. Um, poor thing. Yeah, poor me. Yeah, I want the stone glass. <laughs> oh, I just grabbed... Okay, so it, I don't know why, but I was expecting it to be a lot darker. But, I mean, it is an IPA, so I shouldn't have been expecting that. Um, get a little more hit on mine. I don't know. I was... Th yeah, he, he always pours a lot more rough than I do. Mm. But, um... That's not the only thing. Go ahead. Anyways, <laughs> um, so yeah, you can see it's a it's a pretty typical IPA color. It's very amber, kind of um, goldeny here in person. On screen, it's looking a lot more red. Um, as you can see, Matt poured his beer more vigorously, so he's got um, a head that is about a finger and a half, and it's off white. I wouldn't say it's pure white, um, and it's definitely not super. Um, aromatic from far away like a lot of beers you smell can kind of one. smell them well i'm not gonna smell mine you smell yours i smell mine he's very inappropriate tonight i don't know what's wrong with him um it doesn't really smell like coffee at all does mm -hmm. it no you get a little it's kind of a it's malty almost, it's malty and then you know you get catch the hops and stuff but it kind of feels like something's subduing the hops a little bit like they're not like you said, it's not as aromatic as a lot yeah, of Yeah, it's definitely not super floral for it being an IPA. You know, you kind of expect it to be like piney or citrusy or something. Um, you can smell, uh, it does smell kind of malty to me uh, for an IPA. It's kind of bready. Um, yes. Like bread. I agree. Like, uh, you know, I guess yeasty. A little yeasty. Oh, I got some on my nose. I was so busy watching you sip your beer, I put my nose straight in I mine. tend to have that effect on people. <laughs> Shut up. You can definitely taste the coffee. Oh yeah, you do taste it. That is super good. It's not very coffee though. No, like, it's just, just enough. I, I wouldn't want... Enough. I like a lot of coffee flavor in like coffee stouts and coffee porters and stuff like that. But in an IPA, the way that they put light bits of coffee into it, I like that. I can't say that I wouldn't like one that had stronger ones. Mm. I love coffee, but I do like this, this flavor. It's very good. It's almost more of like a, not a brewed coffee flavor, but more of like a coffee bean flavor. Yeah. Whole um, bean. Yeah. I wonder like, if that's what they used. I'm, I, yeah, I'd be curious to find out. Uh, it definitely gives the effect of uh, like what a co like coffee smells like before you, you know, brew it. It doesn't smell... Or taste like brewed coffee to me. We get chocolate covered espresso beans mm -hmm. from Trader Joe's. Mm -hmm. Minus the chocolate covering, that flavor in that it's, in this beer is very similar. Like little yeah, light notes, like this, like it's an IPA that just has a few espresso beans dropped into it. Uh, sure. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, definitely. It's beautiful. Um, it is kind of malty, too. It's got that bready. It does uh, taste a good bit like it smells, which is nice. Mm. It's kind of a little, like, I mean, I'm not saying it's boozy, because it's not really boozy, but you can definitely, or I can definitely... Seven, three. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, like, random coughs, like, in the middle of sentences and words. It's ridiculous. Um... <coughs> I can definitely, like, feel the alcohol. Um, Drunky. I mean, I haven't had anything to drink all day, yeah, so yeah, I don't yeah. know what you're saying. Um, but, yeah, it's pretty good. I honestly was expecting more coffee, and I'm a little disappointed that it's not more coffee. Um, and, honestly, it's a very subdued IPA. It is. Too. So, it's not really much of either of the things that it, it's named for. It's flavor on either end, the coffee or the IPA, is not very bold, but it's blended well. Yeah, it's so a very... So it's a very well balanced, very well yes. blended between the flavors, but it's, like she's saying, I agree with that as well, it's not it's not the boldest IPA I've ever had, and it's not the boldest coffee-flavored beer I've ever had either, no. but they do they did a good job blending it together. So. Yeah, it is really balanced, I and like if you like if you like something that's not really, like, zingy, like, whoa, um, then you would probably really, really, really like this beer. Um, you know, Matt and I have been drinking craft beer for so long that we are kind of on the lookout for, like, really Bold. intense flavors in intense. beer, you know, regardless of what the actual style of the beer is, like, we want it to be, like, the most intense version of that beer that we can find. So, this is very... Thrill seekers we are. Yeah. <laughs> this is very <laughs> subdued, um, but it is really good. I mean, it's definitely um, one of the better beers that I've had from Conquest. Um, mm. I'd say that this knocks their Sacred Heart IPA out of the water. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's better. Um, <laughs> that's, uh, I guess, I, I, is that their flagship beer? I think so. I think it is. That or the and it's Artemis not. Blonde. It's the I mean those are both, you know, pretty decent beers, but I mean, I think you need to go more than pretty decent. Um, but you know, There's... I've never been like um unhappy with Conquest um beer before. It's just never been like whoa. You know? I had one that I said whoa to. The you did? Br the Brutus. Oh Imperial yeah, Stout. I didn't get to try any of that. It was delicious. What They're was up, it? Brutus. It's called Brutus Imperial Stout. I had it once. Uh, my neighbor actually bought it for me as a gift. Um, very, very good. I love stouts, and it was very boozy and delicious. Yeah. It was good. But, yeah, Conquest Brewing, Columbia, South Carolina, up-and-coming brewery. They, they've they got some beers that, yeah, I hate to admit it, they've kind of been hit and miss for us. Yeah. But they're, the more we try, some of their newer stuff they're coming out with, like mm, such, like mm. this beer, they're getting much better. So I think... Anybody who's willing to check out a new brewery should definitely check out Conquest. They're pretty good. I like it. Yeah. It's definitely, like, a very initially, you can pick up that coffee. Mm. And and then, you know, like some it. of the other stuff kind of kicks in there. But, yeah, I mean, all, all over, it's a really good beer. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 because it is very well balanced. And you do pick up coffee, and you can tell it's an IPA. It's just not, like, <laughs> why am I even doing a video? <laughs> That's why I haven't had any videos, y'all, because I have been dying for, like, a month. <clears throat> like, I, I feel fine. I just have this cough. You've that got won't the black go lung. Yeah, I must have the plague or something, so don't come to my house. Black lung. You can keep watching my videos. I hope it's not contagious through the screen or anything like you that. You need to stop working in the coal mines. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Anyways. Do you want to give it a rating? I gave yeah, four, I'm going to do 6.738 out of 10. Yeah, obviously Matt has a different scale than I do. I told you a couple of videos ago that I'm using a 10 scale. Oh, I don't remember. I think it was with the palette wrecker that I said that. Palette wrecker. That's like the complete opposite end of the spectrum. Yep. Is this beer mm -hmm. <laughs> so crazy? Mm -hmm. That one is almost a little too much crazy for me. Mm. Yes. Mm. I like it. Alrighty, well, uh, we're going to sign off here because we are heading to Oscar Blues tomorrow. Um, we've already been there before, duh, but uh, we're very excited to go. Um, so maybe I will have something for you on that, and maybe I won't. I don't really know. Don't mess with that. Don't put that in the frame. Sorry. Alright, well, thank y'all for watching, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Mm.